First, our top local story, more fallout from a police sex scandal. A second officer accused of having sex with a woman while on duty has resigned. Now the city of Cranston can't reveal his identity and the mayor is outraged over how much money the legal battle costs the city. From the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik is live in Cranston. Well, Karen, outraged to say the least here tonight inside City Hall. The mayor says there are horrible loopholes with the officer's Bill of Rights. Loopholes that he says in this case cost the Cranston taxpayers plenty of money. Just weeks after Cranston police officer Robert Neary was fired for having sex on duty, a second Cranston police officer has resigned just days before the Bill of Rights panel was expected to announce it had fired him. Cranston Mayor Alan Fung says the unnamed officer manipulated the system. We spent um, thousands of dollars in not only legal costs, uh, stenographer costs, you know, costs for the hearing, uh, in, including this uh, officer's salary and benefits that we had to carry during this time. The officer was one of two accused of having sex with the same woman while on duty last summer and failing to respond to calls. Investigators say the two officers were in full uniform and had sex acts at the same time with the same 22-year-old woman in the woods and other abandoned places in the city. Now the mayor says he's targeting a loophole with the officer's Bill of Rights. One of the things I'm going to do is propose legislation to fix this type of loophole. At the very least, any officer that has this type of egregious conduct, uh, gross misconduct, while on duty, the taxpayer should not be footing that bill. There definitely is a flaw in this Bill of Rights process, and I'm not happy about it. And the mayor says tonight that he has not, at this point, formally signed off on that officer's resignation papers. He says the papers haven't made it to his office yet, so at this point we are unable to release that officer's name. Reporting live with the West Bay Mobile News and from Cranston, I'm Catherine Sonic, Eyewitness News.